All right, it's Monday, January 25, 2021. <laughs> and this is your weekly look at the latest Altos research data that came in over the weekend for the entire US real estate market. Each week, Altos tracks every home for sale in the US, all the pricing, the changes in pricing, all the supply and demand so that you can see the trends in the US housing market far before it hits the traditional media channels. Let's start today with the chart that everyone is interested in, total active inventory of single family homes in the US is down to 380,000 this week. The official count of new listings added 48,000 in the week, which is lower than last year. But what's interesting here is that due to this intense demand, this actually understates the total transaction volume that's happening so many properties are being sold so quickly that they are bypass our new listings data. They go right into a contract pending stage. The, the other thing that you might observe if you're a real real estate data geek is that, that this current market is distorting some of the traditional sources that estimate active listings. Uh, those seem to be estimating too high. You might see numbers like 800,000 or a million homes in the market, which is actually not the case. Uh, they're based on historical assumptions about how the market behaves, and we're not behaving that way right now. So our number here is what you will actually find if you like walk into the market today. Uh, like all the indicators, this is crazy bullish for you know future reports of like existing home sales and prices, et cetera. When we look at the price levels in the US, they're, they're right where we've been forecasting. Median home price in the US right now is 339,900. This is up a tick from last week. It's about nine-ish percent higher than last year at this time. Uh, the first quarter of last year, actually started very strong before that, that March, April pandemic adjustment. Uh, all the leading indicators right now are home prices are gonna march higher you know, through, the, through the full second quarter of the year uh, at the least. The, uh, the, the price of the newly listed properties, that's the blue green line on this chart is spiking as expected this week to 319,000. This is the, you know, the first of the quality new listings for the spring market that starts hitting in January. What's fascinating here is that normally homes, they, that good quality inventory hits the market in January, preparing for like a March or April sale. And now that inventory, those are going in January. So that has implications for what we're gonna see in the second quarter. One of the places, though, where you'll see the most bullish leading indicators, uh, see it most profoundly in the percent of homes on the market that have increased their prices. So price increases are an indicator of, for example, uh, investor activity or fix and flips sometimes. So houses on the market, and then it either gets bought and then relisted, or sometimes it just gets relisted with a, an increased price. Price increases actually have a, a, a normal seasonal pattern and they climb with, with buyer activity in the first quarter before fading back in the second half of the year. When de demand is high and climbing, sellers know to increase their prices, they do so. Uh, it's usually only a few percent of the market, but look at what's happening right now. 6.3% of the market right now was recently listed at a lower price. This means the transactions that close in February and March are going to be supported. The, the transaction prices that you see at that point are already supported by current demand. It also means that indicators like the Case-Shiller Index which uses transactions, sold prices from a few months ago 
are going to be skyrocketing at least through June. You can already see it here. The other thing that this highlights is how sensitive the market is to the low interest rates. There's a stretch in 2018 here where price reductions declined very steadily. At that time, rates were spiking from three to four and a half percent and the buyer demand backed way off. So conversely, in January of last year, January 2020, rates have already fallen so sharply that much of the home valuation gains for the year were already visible in that in this January market because we're already at over 4% that it, we're doing price increases. So you could like already see where the, the transaction price strength was going to be baked in the market. We had that little March, April dip, pandemic dip before the market got back on its rocket ship to finish the year. We're now at 6.3%. It's, it's only pointing to higher transaction prices throughout the year. Okay, that's the data for this week. Fingers crossed that we actually get some inventory expanding in the next few weeks. Uh, as always, we are still keeping our eye on the out for the, the latest in the, the mortgage forbearance market. If there is any big changes that you uh, might need to be aware of that we can see happening, you'll see them here first. So subscribe to the YouTube channel to stay connected or uh, swing over to the to altosresearch.com to run a report for local market or connect with a team and work with market data in your business. Okay, that's all for this week, more next week. Thank you.